Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you for checking me out. My name is Echo Simpson. If this is your first time of checking out my videos, kindly subscribe. Alright, so I told you that this year I'll be bringing you a lot of series and then we've started with the first one. It's about how the Ghanaian society perceives certain things in Ghana. I've already done the first video which talks about how the Ghanaian society sees the Ghanaian man, a typical Ghanaian man. And I love the comments that came through from you guys it was so beautiful and listen this makes us learn from each other's culture so this time uh we're going to talk about how Ghanaians perceive a typical Ghanaian woman what does the society expect from a typical Ghanaian woman so i have here with me a wonderful beautiful little girl uh <laughs> she's called nanaba Daku. so nanaba Daku is also a youtuber in cape coast She's been doing beautiful. So I'll put her YouTube link in the description. Just head towards the link and follow and subscribe and watch some of her beautiful videos as well. Nanaba, oh, how are you? I'm fine. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you very um, much. In the Ghanaian society, I'm not even supposed to be holding you at all because you're not my girlfriend. Yeah. Okay. Well, people will have a little bit of... Or, 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 or we are not married. No, we are not married. Okay, so I can't even greet you. Oh, you can That is just me. by the way. So, <laughs> like I said, we are going to look at how... So these are some of the things that, you know, the ordinary Ghanaian sees or expects to see from his fellow ordinary Ghanaian. I know you are above 18 years old. Yes. Which in Ghana is the, the adult age, the legal adult age, okay. whereby you can do what? Drink. Okay. Smoke. <laughs> have sex. Okay. Get married and have children. Oh, I love that. <laughs> She's frank. Drink, smoke, have sex. And nobody will do anything to you, but, but somebody will do something to you. The yeah, society. Exactly. So she can drink, she can smoke, she can have sex, she can work, have babies, get married. But that is to her, if that is what she wants to do. But aside that, the society will say, nah, nah, that's not what we're expecting from you, that's not what we're expecting from you. So now, tell me, as a, Ghan a typical Ghanaian woman, Tell me two things you think the society expects from you. Okay. So at my age and what I've realized lately, I'm expected to get married by now. <laughs> you expected? <laughs> I, I am expected to get married by now from some of the comments that people actually give mm -hmm. when they realize that you are this age or not. Yes. So I'm expected to get married I'm a, or I'm expected to start preparing towards getting married. Yes, that's one thing. Even if I'm not ready, ready yet, I'm still expected to do that. <laughs> okay, yeah. so before you go to the second one, <laughs> yeah. so it means that the society doesn't care if you are working or not, if you have money or not. So far as you are at a certain age, you are expected to get married. To get married, especially if you're a woman. Mm -hmm. Yes, and if you are not working, it is assumed that, oh, your husband will look after you or your fiancé will look after you okay. when you get married. So you are expected not to worry about that. You need to focus on the marriage part. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> all the other things will be taken care of by the man, which kind of like gives them a little bit of pressure, I think, mm -hmm. yes. So, it, it does. You yeah. know, in my other video, in my first video, I, I was telling them that do, these kind of things put stress on us. Because the society, actually, like she said, okay, just focus on the marriage. They don't care whether you are working or not. Focus on the marriage and then the rest will follow. Yes. So we are in trouble. Okay, so, so what would be the second thing? So the second one would be with dressing mm -hmm. at some point. If there are some outfits that I own, I will not wear it when I'm walking through my community. Okay. Yes. So you are expected to wear a long skirt like I'm wearing. This top is even a bit tighter or something. I don't know. But you are expected to wear something longer, cover yourself when you are walking around the society. Or let's say some old people, old women will perceive that you are a bad person. Or <laughs> whether you have good intentions or not. The moment you pass by with such <laughs> dresses, yeah, you are perceived to be a very bad person or something. But is it no do you feel like dressing like that yes do you want something no i just feel like wearing that and anyway we are expected to wear this one so i'm wearing it today okay <laughs> i remember when we went to 
mm -hmm. Rwanda, mm -hmm. Portia, the lady that I went with, mm -hmm. wore a skirt, sorry, a short, very small one. And then we were roaming around town, and everybody was staring. So <laughs> if you're from Rwanda or Kigali, <laughs> and we went through downtown, and everybody like, and Kigali people, then they watched things. They would just, they would let you know that we are watching. We are watching. <laughs> and it made Portia so uncomfortable because I, I think in their society, you can't, if you're a lady, you can't wear short skirts, exposing your, your ties and all that, walking around town. So that is what we meant by saying that there are certain things you can do, but the society will frown on that. So, now, talking about dressing, I've also realized that society frowns or expect or perceive a woman wearing anklet, anklet yeah. on the leg, uh, whatever, as as what? So you tell me, tell me more. About that. Okay, so um, one day I was wearing anklets. I love them because I normally don't like wearing mm -hmm. stuff here. I like wearing it on my leg. And someone told me that oh, if you pass here and you go, people will perceive that you're a prostitute because mostly they use this food. <laughs> I'm okay. like, <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. Like, I felt bad because, you see, this kind of perceptions also, sometimes it runs through our heads mm -hmm. and we, we feel like, okay, it might be true. Mm -hmm. But knowing myself, I know I'm not prostitute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. So they said we shouldn't even say prostitute. We should say sex worker. Sex worker. We're, yeah, that would be the appropriate word. And so anklets. And I like rings, so I kind of like wear a couple of them. So... With the perception, when we look at spiritual kind of, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't have to put it, but people also perceive that if you put on rings, you will be married by someone in the spirit. Okay, yes, that's it. Hebrew spirit. <laughs> yes. But, so I was asked, explain why you are wearing this one. I had a cross. I said, this reminds me of God. Now, the mm -hmm. person's face kind of changed. Mm -hmm. So... Sometimes when you get, you have to get close to me okay. or get close to someone who, who is behaving in a certain type of way to actually understand, understand what is going on. So when I explain the rings before they, they realize, oh, okay. So since you not wear your cross on your neck, you can wear it on your hand. Mm -hmm. If you not wear your um, bangles here, you can wear it on your leg. What is the problem? <laughs> okay. You see, that, is, that is the issue. There is, yeah. um, when you go, when you travel outside, I know they love fashion. Yes. And in fashion, you are expressing how you feel. So you find some crazy um, photos on the internet. Somebody will show this outfit that when you come to Africa, will be laughing at the person. <laughs> exactly. But that is their expression of fashion. So in a nutshell, even society frowns off on, on what you can wear and what you can't wear. Like she said, she feels that putting an anklet on the leg makes her feel okay. Putting on uh, rings yes. makes her feel okay. But no, that is not what the society expects to see. A typical example is me. You can see that I'm wearing an uh, earring. Yes. Now somebody will say, oh, in the Ghanaian society, a man doesn't wear earrings. Yes. They don't expect you to wear earrings. So when I'm walking around, people will be like, this guy, what is he, is he gay? If they don't say you are gay, then with the anklet thing, they will say you are a lesbian. Because yes. most people who put anklet on the leg, they think they are lesbians. That is why they put it. So you see where the perceptions of how the Ghanaian society sees a typical Ghanaian woman are <laughs> beautiful. So I really wanted to hear from her, yeah. um, her perception on, you know, as she's a, a typical Ghanaian yeah. lady, yeah. how does the society expect from her? And she's mentioned a few. And I know that in your culture, there are also perceptions as to what if you're an American lady or a British lady or from the Caribbean or from China, Togo, wherever you are, there are certain things that the society expects to see from you if you're a woman. And like I said, she's mentioned a few and I want you to put it up as a comment. Let me know. Echo, ours is way different. Okay, we have similar ones. We have differences, blah, 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 blah. So put it up as a comment and let's take it from there. Thank you very much for checking me out. Make sure you check her out on YouTube, Nana Badako. <laughs> I'll put it up in the description, like I said. Okay. Follow her and let's try Project Central Region to the world. Peace. <laughs>